M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos. Really on the i radio UV98 or the Radtel 880 on the left here. Now, this isn't a comparison video, I am just filming both of these side by side. So, I know that loads of people want to go, How could you compare the Kenwood D75 to the i radio? I am not comparing, they are in front of the camera, and I am demonstrating what happens. So if you look here on the A band, we've got 434, 450. That's my node. We've got it here as well. So if I just activate my node and I'm going to log into Hubnet, G7 RPG, turn up the volume. The reason you're hearing a hash in the background is because on the B band, we go F. There you go, that's better. On the B band, you're, you're seeing HF, and that's part of why I'm doing this video, because the Kenwood D75 has full HF received, upper sideband, lower sideband, CW, but so does the iRadio. Remember the price difference, £70 at the most for this one with the non-GPS. The GPS model, APRS model, is going to be more, I would say, more like £95. But remember... £800 for this, but it does do D-Star. So let's turn on the HF mode. So on the iRadio, you push the bottom button. It goes into the middle antenna, which holds or is connected to an SI4732 chip that receives HF. Whoa. Yes, the speaker's nice and loud. Now remember, these chips, they're mass-produced now. That's hubbing it there. They're mass-produced now, so it's not really a big deal to... To, to get one of these chips and put them in a radio. Hence seeing things like this, which is actually really good, produced for about £27 delivered with the case um, and, a, and firmware upgradable. Now it's got the same, exactly the same chip. Now it won't be the exactly the same architecture on the board, but anyway. So let's just find a strong signal on the iRadio, and then we'll compare. Annoyingly, it's not very busy. Um, I'm looking around, I've got some FT8 there. I'm just testing on my, I've got a 7610 here. I'm trying to find some activity. And we are looking. Doesn't seem to be much, but anyway. We've got 14.75 there for now. And then, so if we just go to the B band and we can type in the same frequencies. We've got 14, you have to press enter first. 0, 1, 4, 0, 7, 5. We will have to need to put an antenna there. Uh, mode, upper side band. To change the mode here, oh, look at that, we're on lower side band. Brief press here. Upper side band. So if I completely remove that antenna, put it on here, and turn this one down. So you get the point that I'm making is that it works on HF and it works on, if you look here at the modes, we've got CW changing up here. And it is receive only on both devices. You can inter interface the camera with your PC as well. I got a feeling you're going to be able to interface this with your PC in certain modes, possibly GPS and APRS type stuff. But that's just a feeling. And yes, they have introduced Bluetooth. Now, both of these do have Bluetooth. But this one, this isn't the Bluetooth GPS APRS model. Um, APRS TNC on here. If we go to dual receive. Now, you can see there, if I turn that up, we back out completely. Now, with the latest firmware, on the A band now. So, let's talk, turn all this down. So, we've got triple display, dual display on the Kenwood. Triple display, of course, full keypad here. So the red button is A, B, C. So on the A, we can actually, with the new firmware, go O, 2. This is someone's talking now, of course. O, 2. Let's do that again. 
0.027555. We can actually do CB and 10 meters. We can't transmit on upper sideband on lower sideband when we're using the middle antenna. There's only, there actually, there's two antennas on the iRadio, but there's also two antennas on the Kenwood D75. There's one inside it. Um, so, of course, you'll find that it will be superior on the 75, but you've got to go pound for pound. What's your best pound for pound? This The iRadio is programmable via USB-C, um, and also with the Bluetooth, and you can see the Bluetooth logo there and GPS, I would say it's going to be programmable via Bluetooth as well. The Kenwood, of course, is programmable via Bluetooth and USB-C USB -C chargeable, both USB-C chargeable. A much bigger screen on the iRadio. And then look at this. This is something that the Kenwood cannot do. Hold down. And you've got airband monitoring with audio scope. And you can adjust the squelch ETC. You don't have a scope on the, you know, on the Kenwood. But you do have D-Star. So see if I can get onto D-Star a minute. Just press digital. Let me go A, B, B. Hit the digital. Right, we're in digital now. And so if we have a hotspot or a repeater near us, we'll be in digital mode. Now I've got a hotspot here, but um, I'm not sure if it will activate. Uh, I'm just sorry, I'm just faffing a bit, but it doesn't matter, just enjoy it. Enjoy the faffing, that's what that's what I like the most is the faffing. So if I just go four three three five fifty CQ, we should TX on there. Hmm, I wonder why not. Four three three five fifty. Um, possibly it's, I haven't set it up. Anyway, you get the idea. Hotspot or repeater near you, and then um, you can start talking on on D Star. And once you're on D Star, once you're in digital, if you get something like the Open Spot, well then you you can talk on on Fusion and DMR as well. But that's the Open Spot Pro Four, which allows cross mode. So you get the idea. So what my you know my general thing that I'm saying is I'm not I'm definitely not comparing. I'm just saying. There's a lot of people that, that probably liked the Kenwood D75, but the price tag was just too much. Yeah, and I completely understand that completely. And then you'll get in a radio like this, which look at it, you've got three PTTs, uh, emergency button. They've done away with the torch, LED, but you've got the extra antenna in the middle, FMA, easy to buy adapters. And for 70 and less, I've seen them go for less. Pounds, a nice big chunky battery on there, big belt clip as well. And I just think, you know, and, I, I, and I've made several videos on this, and, and I only get excited about this for a reason, and that is that this radio, this budget radio, for what we're paying is, is one of the best things ever, ever, to come out of um, the budget radio range. Um, and I, I literally just blown away by it. Nothing is perfect. You know, I know there's a lot of people that watch YouTube channels and all they're doing is looking for things to fault. Oh, but what about this? But what about that? It can't do this. It can't do this. There's why? Why the fault pickers? Um, but anyway, and I can hear your little voices doing it right now. This is fantastic. The Ken I love the Kenwood, the D75. It's an amazing set. Uh, one of the highest premium products you can get out there in, 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 when it comes to handhelds. Um, it does, it's not the same as the 52, the Icon 52, but it's, it's, I don't know, because it does HF receive and full TNC and digi repeater, digi peter, say, um, it, it, it is, it stands out, you know, so it is good. So anyway, thanks for watching my channel. Just going to back out, back to triple receive and, um, yeah, bye for now. Seven, three.